can't hear you. You can't hear me? Oh, okay, I hear you now. I ain't got no earbuds. Oh, I do got earbuds, but then you ain't gonna really be able to hear me though. I no, I hear you now though. Okay. Ain't no echo on yeah. you? Nah, not that I know of. Not that I can hear or shit. No, there ain't no volume at all. No volume at all? Oh, there you go. Now you're back. I don't know what you was doing. Uh, invite Michelle and Nick to the, uh, oh. three. <coughs> I'm ready to get into this room, nigga. Nick is working in the front, nigga. Crazy. Well. Might as well go ahead on and say that, uh, we are at five. <laughs> Green, hot, and fast. From location, nigga. Location. From the mobile location. On location. You know what I'm Boy, Kingfish Matt, up in this bad boy, joined as usual by my brother. From my other mother, my boy Frankie Young Flyer. What's up, baby boy? What up, people? We in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Live on location, mobily. And included in the young room, locally. But we Make in no this mistake. bitch. Make no mistake about it, this is the piranha bond. Without all the uh, bells and whistles, but still uh, all the facts and opinions. Saying. Let's get right to this shit, man. Uh, breaking news, breaking news. Uh, Death Smollett was sentenced seven, eight, twelve minutes ago. Uh, judge gave him 30 months probation, five months, Cook County Jail, and around $145,000, $150,000 in fines. Uh, uh, did you get to catch any of that shit, bro? Yeah, I caught a little bit of that shit, man. That shit was hilarious. I keep boring as fuck, nigga. When my boy attorney got out, I only caught the ass end of it. Like, I didn't catch the beginnings of it, but I ain't need to catch all that shit because I knew that nigga was guilty any motherfucking way. <laughs> so I was just waiting to see what the hell they was going to send that nigga to. But that's the kind of yeah. gift, playing with the people and our emotions, nigga. <laughs> I was fuck kinda, that. I was kind of... Same pit. Hey, Mama Nell. Hey. Yeah, I was kind of on the same tip. Uh, I was, uh, you know, really been tripping. I didn't even know that the boy was being sentenced today, right? Right. I looked up, caught it on Choke No Jokes live stream. Shout out to Choke No Joke. I don't know where he was live streaming it from. Probably Court TV or something. I watch, watch, uh, I watch all of Death Attorney's uh, plea. I don't know you can call it. He's all over the place. And shit, right? This dude was on Black Lives Matter. Black Black men been mistreated by the justice system for full miscarriage of justice. Blah 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 blah. No shit. He's Twenty hours of that shit. But what really struck me was the fact that uh, the judge went in and on Jesse Smollett. And he shot his shooter. Yeah, I wish I would have took some notes, man. This dude called it charlatan, told him that he has so much potential, that all the out taking pension or Oh, man, he went in and Yeah, I can imagine about, that. Potential, uh, uh, waste, uh, how you, how you, uh, wasted all these resources, uh, because you're a monster. Oh man, it's really fun, the boy. And funny thing about it is that I, right before we went, right before we came live, I was the family, right? The older brother, the younger brother, and the older sister. They all were. They had press conference outside of the courthouse. They still pushing the narrative that their brother 
you know, it's been railroaded, blah, 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 this, that, and the third, that they really also believe uh, black jessic <laughs> type of shit, right? Believe all jessics. <clears throat> saying they ain't, oh, no, oh, yes, black man saying this. It's the fact that my brother said that he was you know, attacked, blah, 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 so that and so they, you know, real staunch and different than the fact that, uh, you know, they going, you know, ride this out till the wheels fall off the shit. The wheels is already off this bad boy. <laughs> Family first, nigga. You know what I mean? Family first. Nigga, fuck that. He said he was attacked. He was attacked, God damn it. You know what I mean? You still got to have his little house arrest anyway. You got to live with these folks. <laughs> So, nigga, yeah, family first. Nigga, write that shit out. Um, I, that part I agree with, but I don't agree with that nigga lying. That shit was unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? That was some bullshit. Yeah, like I said, nigga, had niggas' emotions up. Niggas was looking for manga hats and all the shit. Although I ain't never seen one in real life, but I would imagine if I had, if I'd have been like, oh, y'all some punk motherfuckers at that particular time because niggas was all like, low-key believing this nigga. Man, you know what I'm saying? Low-key, though. Put all the facts came out, and we know how niggas rock the snowstorms and shit. So, I don't know, man. That was some bullshit. <laughs> that was some bullshit. The judge should have went off on his ass, lying, wolf crying ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, see, I'm, 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 what's up, Kerry Mackin? I appreciate, uh, <laughs> I appreciate a good tongue lashing from a judge when necessary, because that nigga, that nigga. And the go out banter, like right? we were talking about earlier, when that nigga was talking oh, about. <laughs> go out banter was outlandish, wasn't it? <laughs> the go out banter, nigga, if you gonna go out and shoot, shoot, nigga, shoot. So, nigga. so for those of you who gonna watch this, gonna watch the uh, the Jesse Smaller sentence and later on, on whatever, wherever you get your streaming news. Spoilers, uh, nigga. Spoilers in the you, building. I'm, you know, we're gonna go ahead on and hit you with the spoiler alert, right? Yep. <laughs> Right quick. It's gonna do. And as soon as the judge give him the five months, right? Because he wasn't he he didn't he didn't bat an eye at the thirty months of uh, probation. But as soon as he got that motherfucker five months behind bars, he immediately went into performance mode. He was, I am innocent. Uh, I I am not suicidal. If something happens to me, like screaming in the court too, not like you know kind of type of shit with the black fist up and all that, right? Uh, uh, if uh, I'm not suicidal, so if something happens to me, you guys know I did not do this to myself. Come on, bro. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> like I was telling you, my nigga. You got playing, homie. I did that nigga. Did that nigga, really that nigga did some shit on some on some in his mind, nigga. He was trying to be like put some type of protection on himself, like there was on some. Make sure they extra careful. Make sure nothing happened to that nigga while he in there. So he said that shit. At least in his mind, that's how he was thinking. I would imagine when he spot off or shot off with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Either that, or he's gonna try to go out with the ultimate stunt. You know, which is uh, wrap that sheet around his neck, new style. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> try to give motherfuckers something to talk about. <laughs> There was two deputies right, with manga hats. There was two deputies with manga hats. They came in. They tried to hang me. My bunk was too short, so I got loose. <laughs> I'm really, I'm, I guess I'm going to be real interested in knowing, um, you know, what is going to be the, what's going to be the social positioning now, right? We still gonna be on the, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, the judge even said it. The judge said your name is an adverb, right? <laughs> right, for real, for real, for real, for real, nigga. For straight lying, nigga. Young Smollett, nigga. Hey, I don't. I I think. I don't know about this man's future because. You know, I don't know how his uh, <clears throat> constituents or peers might look at him after this in terms of getting more work or, you know, even be able to show his face around certain people. Um, 
So that would be interesting to see. Like, is he just going to fade off into obscurity? You know what I'm saying? Like, will the Smollett thing just fade away? You know, that's what I'm interested in seeing. Because five months is a long time for a nigga to forget about a nigga. nigga. <laughs> Unless right, you just go right. in there and act a fool to stay and relevant. You just go in there and act a fool. It don't seem, good strikes it don't, and all the stupid shit. Right. It don't seem like motherfuckers is fixing to be no kind of quiet. Between him, I wonder. Between him and his and his brothers and sister, seemed like they ready to kick up a little bit of dust about the boy. For these five Especially months, if huh? something happened to him. That's why I say. That's why I say that, bro. He said that shit on some. You know, I say that shit now. They gonna be extra careful with a nigga just to make sure don't nothing happen to me because they don't want to see him wrong or whatever in his mind. That's probably what he was shooting that shit for. You know what I'm saying? Like to make sure. Like, Y'all niggas know, right? So they, yeah, I ain't know. I, I ain't gonna kill myself, but uh, watch these niggas though. <laughs> and nigga, what? And nigga wasn't trying. He ain't trying to go to the GP jar now. He, and nigga trying to get some celebrity uh, treat. Yeah, nigga, that that kid glove shit. You know what I'm saying? That that you know what I mean? Especially for a little punk ass five months. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, be careful with a nigga, nigga, because I already put the word out on you, niggas, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And again, like you said, with his brothers and sisters, bro, they ain't gonna keep quiet. Like I said, them motherfuckers probably go in there, put a hunger strike shit, do all all the shenanigans that one can do to get some type of, you know, what I'm saying buzz while in jail. You know what I mean? I don't think it's over in terms of the buzz. I, I you, you brought, you, you right, you right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You right. Yeah, they gonna they, they gonna find him a bunch of ways. This nigga gonna get sick. He gonna get COVID in the motherfucking county jail or something, and it's gonna be a <laughs> fucking death scene. Protests, yeah, that's why I'm to a bunch of shit they would never do for you and me. Trust. Oh, of course <laughs> not, nigga. Hell no, nigga. We cry for news cast. They gonna motherfucking just ignore nigga. Yeah. They Hold wouldn't on. give a damn what happened to that bitch, but you know, we not care. Hold on. I'm holding. Is we still on? We still on. Yeah. yeah, what would you do? Somebody called my phone and shit, right? Oh, okay. Uh uh the dude that uh the the boss. The boss guy. Mm-hmm. Talking about taking lunch and just and then head out. I'm like, dude, I logged off my lunch at four o'clock, homie. You didn't know that? <laughs> like I was all the way missing off the fucking GPS <laughs> 30 whole minutes, bro. You You didn't notice. <laughs> what the fuck? You all didn't right. pay attention at all. Anyway, you know what I That's great. But hey, easy work. Fuck that. Uh, yeah, I did want to. Yeah, I did kind of, kind of want to give him, you know, at least a couple of minutes to try to see if we could actually, um, you know, still do the show, you know, even though, you know, our asses is all in four different places and some more shit, especially since um, I actually got my computer, but. Um, Connecting through the connecting to the to the to the app to the Wi Fi. I mean, through the data is some bullshit. Trust. Look, you don't have the fucking, but then you won't be able to use the phone. Yeah, you will. Can't you hook your computer up to your wa- uh, your what you majiggy? Yeah, but it's still then it's still going through the data. I might as well just do it through the phone. No, you're right, 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 right. Because the story of your data is better your connection. I forgot about that part. It, it, it seems like it's 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 different, you know, when you're streaming through the app. Like right now, we're cool. We on Facebook, right? right. You know what I'm saying, you know, Facebook is kind of designed to be working from the mobile app, and shit, right? Where Streamyard is kind of designed, really, for all of us to be in front of the fucking to be stationary, be kind of, you know, uh, doing the beta test with the phone apps, right? Okay. But generally. 
it's the bit rate is way too high for a motherfucker to be trying to stream using that data. But shit, it be working out. It be working out, you know. For, for, you know, you, when you and uh, you and Nick be on on uh, on phones and shit, right? On on regular phone data, and that shit. Be, well, now nah, you be on Wi-Fi. Yeah, boy. I be trying to get as close to Wi-Fi as I possibly can. Now, the one time I was working on data was when I was um at this new joint at the college. I was working on data, but I was like. That's why my shit was kind of choppy at first. If I had to find a spot, but I, I found the spot closer to the buildings that had my bars all the way up, so I was in the building. But when I was at the first part, yeah, I was on Park Wi-Fi, you know, Walmart Wi-Fi, fucking anywhere I was at that had guest Wi-Fi. I was in that bitch. So yeah, I got do, I it just happened to work out like that. Just happened to work out like that. Huh? No, I said it just happened to work out like that for me, though. It was something else that, uh, damn, what else happened? What the fuck was it, man? It was something else that happened in, in, uh, in popular culture that we was talking about. Oh, well, uh, no, nah, not when, uh, my man, the Black Panther dude, went to get his own money in there. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but did you see the setup with that though? You see how it like actually went down? Yeah, yeah. The nigga went in there with the note, and with the, the note, note was like, he had a sus, and he was all like bundled up, and he was like, make it discreet. I don't want nobody to know. So the like, I, I can low key understand where she was coming from because she can't see the motherfucker, and even if she could have, she wouldn't have knew who the nigga was. He ain't no actor or nothing. You know, so this man was the director, and, and you know, said, uh, so he's behind the camera. But that was, yeah. that's kind of, I, I don't know. I don't really know how to take that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think, I think it was probably more suspicious because of the note coupled with the amount of money that it was. I think it was like two hundred. Right, and the amount of money. I forgot about that, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so, right, right, know, right, right. Anytime right, right. you're getting more, to, you're getting that 10000 out, that shit requires paperwork and some more shit, right? Plus, they on some shit like, you know, even if it is you, is somebody fucking holding somebody hostage at home? Like, what the fuck is really right. going on, nigga, that all of a sudden you need all this cash? Right. Now, of course, you you know, you got every right to say, bitch, don't ask me nothing about my fucking business. It's my money. Right. And run by. Right. And, um, and I think that that's where the fucked up part comes in. Because even with, even with dude being, even with, all his let's just make all his actions be suspicious right mm -hmm. nigga bundled up nigga hand a note nigga don't want you to use the money counter you know motherfuckers keeping his voice down blah 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 nigga still had to produce his identification and he still had to put his motherfucking card into the fucking uh into the machine and put his pen in for as soon as he does that you know who he is right you know all this but, shit is legit even if you got some questions about it, then what you do is, you know, you fucking have the bank manager finish the transaction. You don't call the fucking police on the black man talking about some suspicious shit because that automatically comes across as a bank robbery. Right. You know, yeah, that's lucky the motherfuckers didn't come that. in hot, hot. But you seen how fast old boy on the fucking, uh, on, the, on the right pulled this shit out. That nigga pulled this shit out like it was a training exercise. Mm-hmm. Now, he was ready, ready, nigga. He was ready. <laughs> like, ready, damn, ready. nigga. <laughs> and then they're trying to say it was suspicious because he had two motherfuckers in the car waiting on him and some shit like that, too. But still, regardless, in that fact, yeah, nigga still got to be verified. Like, mask and all that shit. You don't know who he is, bitch. You got to be way cooler than that in that situation. Like, nigga, go through the proper steps, bitch. Go through the proper steps. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I could see that, too. But I didn't think about it from that perspective. I was just saying, through all that bundle shit, she could still tell that nigga was black. That's all she was worried about. <laughs> That's all she was worried about. She said, black or $12,000, it's got to be a robbery. You know but then, saying? look, I'm going to throw him some bail on this one because the, 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 the bank teller was a pregnant black chick and both the police was black. Right? So I'm going to throw him a little bail on this one on the race. Right. I can do that. Even in that fact. But, but, no. but on, the, on the suspicious character tip, tip, 
you know, niggas will think you're more suspicious than white people will. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Niggas don't expect a nigga to come in there and the bank for $12,000 to be legit. Even in this. You know oh, she's about, oh, yeah, he writing some shit, girl. <laughs> I don't know, my nigga. Let me see your ID. Can I see? Put your mask down a little one time. Oh, you Black Panther, nigga? I know you're. <laughs> What kind of family? Right, you know what I'm saying? What kind of family? I'm, 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 you know what I'm, I'm that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't just gonna panic when a nigga had a nigga note. I'm gonna be like, man, let me see your ID, bro. You know what I'm saying? Can you put your mask down? Oh. Oh. What up, man? I think I be on uh, Marvel Comics shit all the time, man. It's all through my feed on my phone, man. You did a damn good job, nigga. What kind of family for my nigga? Let me get your dough ran up. You know what I'm saying? Can I get an autograph? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, man, she pregnant. You know, hormones is rising. I know that panic kicked in right quick. I don't mean, anybody coming there, but even if it was a white, I wonder if it was a white dude, she just, uh, would it have been the same scenario? That's, that's always the question, too. though, right? Right. That's always the question, right? Like okay. I said, we always suspicious. It don't even matter who the fuck is looking. But I wonder right, if they right, would have right. been as suspicious in the same set of circumstances. It said right. That's what I'm saying. That because they white, I don't think so. Because man, us our people, dude, still regardless of what we know and how much we've grown and all this shit, still put some type of bias well, on well. them in terms of them being better than us or them being above the reproaches that we may not be above. I mean, you know what I mean? Like they above doing type of shit that we do. You know what I mean? I tell you one well, thing. Just can't be suspicious. I tell you one thing. My boy told Atlanta told walk up in that motherfucker with his red angels hat and his red angel shirt <laughs> on, some more shit. His ass is going to fucking jail. Twelve thousand dollars. What's up, Duke? You know what I'm saying? Duke in the house. Yeah. Where your sister you at, bro? Up. Tell her she missing the pie. Yes, sir. Well, we in this bitch. Uh, we doing the uh the the the, 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 imp the improvisational pie around this bad you know boy. We improv too around this bit. We may not be comedians, but we Johnny on the spot. You know what I'm saying? And a little funny. I'll be trying sometimes. Yeah. Is the comments on in this bad boy? Oh, I don't need to write a comment. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm having fun just learning, just dealing with this. You got all kind of little shit on the Facebook app. It ain't like our app, though. I got wonder uh, what it'll look like if the other piranhas popped in. Like, would we be four square like this? I think somebody would be on, on the on bottom. The both, <clears throat> both of them pop, <clears throat> popped in. We would be, I think we'd be all four. But if and the people Shell would be came in like right, that? I think I might be at the top and both of y'all at the bottom. Maybe. Oh. Okay. Yeah, probably that since I started the live, it would make me the bigger screen. My nigga, how you feel about these punk ass gas prices, especially you since you in the motherfucking business of driving? That shit is ridiculous. I went to Costco to try to get gas this morning, and that shit was five twenty nine. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> Costco? What the God. fuck? I'm so glad that uh a nigga like me. Got a bus to drop a nigga off directly in front of the motherfucking job. If I'm off for me a gas boycott, nigga, think of bullshit. I'm gonna fuck around and have me canceled because this is some bullshit. Nigga, gotta stand for something. Keep saying that shit. But we don't. I'm gonna fuck around. Fuck around. I'm gonna buy me a motherfucking scooter. <laughs> Be making deliveries <laughs> to hold a motherfucking basket right. on the back of that bitch. Right, a cool motherfucker. Twelve dollars to fill up, nigga. Ride for three days. <laughs> a cool motherfucking electro rock while you bullshit. <laughs> Every time you stop, nigga, hit a fill up station, nigga. Don't even worry about no fucking gas. Try to figure out how to uh, doc. Uh, what's my man name from uh, Back to the Future? The doc dude, doc. Uh, anyway, figure out how to dock some fucking electrical shit. My Cause this motherfucking gas is crazy, nigga. Like we ain't even starting no wars with a motherfucker, but we gotta pay for it. That's some bullshit. 
I'm over here minding my business. I gotta pay for all the goddamn gas. You know what I'm saying? Right. Crazy shit in the world, bro. Look, I ain't invaded a motherfucking thing. <laughs> at all, nigga. At all, nigga. Ain't did nothing but invade this weed bag. Right. <laughs> nigga had to pay that money. If we got money. If we if we got to pay for all the fucking gas, like we did some shit. I think Russia's just cool. And I you know, America might not like me for saying that. But Russia they never did nothing to me. I never they ain't even bothering us. They bothering some whole body up. They bothering they folks, matter of fact, they did one Ukraine part of Russia, but weren't they all in the same click? US and... Let them handle that nigga, that's that family business. You know what I'm saying? West went over there and hit him with that pair of striker. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up their whole economy. We hit him with Jordan's jeans and McDonald's and Coke. Fucked up their whole shit. <laughs> Had them breaking down walls and everything. Sprinkled a little Michael Jackson on them, nigga. It was over. It was over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about some fucking pair of striker. That's hilarious, bro. That's the truth, though. <laughs> And now niggas is over there, man. They let them handle their bad family business, bro. That's like in the squad, no type of shit. Y'all over there for what? What the Ukraine got y'all want? What they got? What y'all after? What y'all really after? What is it about? You know what, I'm what is it about? Hmm? What, do they manufacture car chips or something? They don't do shit. They just got land that's positioned. It's just great positioning. Oh, so it's military position there. So we got to fight for y'all to be military position. All, right. All this technology and y'all just want to be in everybody's backyard. Yeah, if them motherfuckers, mm -hmm. right, if they right there on the border of Russia and whatever the fuck, Turkey and something else, right? It's like three countries and shit that they border. If they And they a member of the fucking UN, you know, that's like sovereign land down there, you know, in the middle of hostile territory. Because ain't nobody else over there fucking with no UN. <laughs> what? True. But I mean, I mean, what? I mean come on, man. We can strike from anywhere on the globe. You really got to be up under the nigga. You really got to be nestled up, nestled up under the motherfucker like that, though. You know what I'm no, saying? Like, just, is it necessary to be putting us through all this because you want to be nestled up? Nigga? It's just you know chess. Man? It's chess. You know how you, you know how you shoot your, you know how you playing chess and you shoot your bishop back to that back row, knock off the right. and shit. Knock that young corner like, move off. Motherfuckers. It's all up in my shit, man. Like that <laughs> young corner move up like, there. man, how can I get this nigga off my Look, shit? Look, your bishop just sitting there protected by a funky-ass pine. You can't do nothing to this motherfucker. It's all on your, hey, fucking that, seventh fucking, on your seventh rank and shit, right? Nigga's like, damn, man, you all next to my queen and shit? What the fuck? Yeah, that's that kind of shit. Yeah, I can see it when you think in terms of strategy. You know what I'm saying? But I mean... Nigga, I ain't trying to pay five dollars and seventy five cents for your strategy, my nigga. It got to be a cheaper way to strategize, my nigga. You know what I'm and this is crazy. Technology, man. We in the future, low key. You got to come up with a better way for this, man. You know what I'm saying? This is ridiculous. You don't fuck around and play with me. I'm gonna get on Google and figure out a way to make this bitch run off water or vodka. That's what, hey, I'm trying to tell you. Man. One of the two, nigga. <laughs> make the motherfucker run off of fucking brandy. Cheap ass brandy, nigga. Straight rock nigga. gut. Right quick, nigga. Right quick. How this motherfucker, motherfucker running off a of taco vodka? <laughs> <laughs> the taco mobile. We ain't even playing with y'all. Motherfucking taco mobile. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we ain't even playing with y'all, nigga. We gonna have them on deck. Look forward to it in the future. Probably. <laughs> It takes a lot of funding to figure that type of shit out. We just ain't got that kind of money. We got the brains, though. Uh, That's crazy, bro. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man. What you got going over there? Look like you about to drink something. Come talk. Trying to roll me some weed. No, this is my, my weed joint. Oh. Got to do for a refill. I'm rolling right now, though. What about you anyway? Like you know what I'm game. doing. I'm, I'm big hot boxing. For your dream is the way up. Big hot boxing. Smoke ain't going nowhere. I wonder where Nick Nas is. I'm saying, I, dude, I said that same shit when we was texting through Messenger and even uh, Shell popped up. I was like, man, what the fuck is up with nigga Nick? What's Nick on? Like he ain't even popping because he was popping in earlier. He started off with the with the Jesse Smollett, right. yeah, and then he, he got out the way. 
This nigga starting fires with him running. You know what I'm You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, right? <clears throat> this nigga start, start the whole conversation and get out the way. For hell. Nigga, this ain't Clubhouse. Participate. Nigga, your name ain't Wack 100. Right. <laughs> Look, we got uh, we got dog wars going on over over on each side of the street. You got the German Shepherd on one side. You got the little collie on the other side. The collie is active though. I'm trying to. I'm gonna put my money. Like I'm gonna put my money on the shepherd though. I'm gonna put my money on the shepherd though. That collie looks the pretty shepherd. cute. That shepherd go knock yeah, him the down. They get out. Hard time. He all in the street and shit. <laughs> Look, these two ladies right here across. They got one. One got a Chihuahua, the other got a Poodle. They both picked their dogs up. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want no part, Clicky. They don't want no part. They're not being served on this motherfucker. <laughs> they don't want no part, nigga. My dog is not in this fight. We ain't on the lower card, nigga. We ain't on the fight card at all. We just gonna walk right through. You know what I'm It'd be crazy if it was two old ladies, though. <laughs> about to get out, nigga. That would be funny. Get at it. About to get at it. <laughs> Hilarious, nigga. That would be crazy. Hey, where are you at right now? Uh, in uh, the Hollywoodish just roundabout area. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't trying to drop no low, no locations on niggas, nigga. I'm saying. Nigga. Nigga. All right, no, I brought for a hole to a nigga back from the front. No, 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 I'm just saying we don't even need to go through that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying this is round about area. I see the little houses in the back. You look a little plush, plush back there. You know what I'm saying I seen two white ladies walk by earlier. It's like, oh, this nigga in a, a a jogging dog walking neighborhood. Nigga, that ain't that ain't no hood, nigga. <laughs> I am, I am too. I, no, nigga, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell, nigga. Have a fucking residential. Yeah, residential. Yeah. Hella gentrified. Like I done seen I done seen every race of people, including blacks, out on this little trail walking their dogs or jogging or some shit. Yeah, but they had to set the standard though. They had to make sure the majority of the space was uh plugged up before they let niggas in. And I can't wait for us to start be gentrifying our own shit. How about that, man? <laughs> Knock it down, build our own shit, and kick their asses out. Nah, you can't move over here. My auntie Lulu coming over here. We got this locked up. You know what I'm saying? Start be gentrifying our own shit. Then they ain't going to want to come into the hood. Then they go like, get back up. You know what I'm saying? That's why they ain't trying to give us reparations, man. They know we go buy up all our shit back. <laughs> like the Seminoles did to Hard Rock, nigga. <laughs> they buying they shit back. They, they know we go buy up all our shit back. They don't want that to happen. Let me get that. Right. I want this, then I want that. Then me and these other people go that buy that over there. Oh, this used to be buried in the world. I mean, this is flooding over who? Oh yeah, we want that too. Nigga drain the lake, we want them towns back. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I did not know that. Central Park was built on a old historically black town, owned town. Is that right? Central Park in New York. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that whole area was owned by two different black families. One of the black families sold out, still got fucked in the end, sold out the first black family. That's why half of they that's why they shit got took. That was like the first half of Central Park. And then the family that sold out the first black family, they pushed their asses out too. Yeah, Google that shit. Central Park, nigga, yeah. Yeah, all that used to be black people land. I was not aware. Yeah, that's crazy, right? And uh, it's a bunch of little towns, man, across the United States that was either flooded out or, you know, motherfuckers was pushed out due to some racial shit. And I mean, literal lakes that sit on top of towns that black people thrived in that were considered black towns or black cities all across the United States, bro. That's crazy because they don't teach us none of that kind of shit. In, in Not school. at all. Well, shit, Not at all. We don't know about now, like fucking Rosewood. And, uh, and we barely hearing about that. Like, we've all known about uh, uh, like the, uh, 
Yeah, the Black Four. Yeah, we all know about that. That's legendary, but there's so many black tapes. Niggas was thriving all over this bitch, bro, and they just slowly but surely choked us out. Crazy. Crazy. We mind our own business. <laughs> our own business. No such thing. Right? Apparently, right? This is my business, boy. <laughs> what is that? My business? I don't even know what it is, but it's my business, boy. Let me have it. Let me have some of it. Man, yeah, some of that. You can have just, just enough of it. <laughs> yeah, bro. A bunch of... Oh, man. Like, uh, I was watching the... Okay, so I'm going to tell you like this. Chavez Ravine, where the Dodgers play? Yeah. Yeah. Niggas used to live on... Well, not niggas, but Native American niggas used to be there. Um... A proper ass uh, town uh, that welcomed Mexicans, right? Right. But they was originally settled by Native Americans, and uh, yeah, they ran their asses off. And <laughs> luckily, they made the ravines and drank that shit and put the stadium there. Uh, hey, what else? Giving somebody a bunch of money or something not too long ago, a couple of ten, twelve nah. years. Yeah, from what it, it, it ain't the beach people, right? No, nah, not the beach people. I'm talking about for Chavez Ravine for the Dodger Stadium in the parking lot. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it sounds about right. After the people bought the team or just after the people bought the, the McCoys bought the team? Seemed like it might have been before that. No. Or maybe I'm just thinking about something else. Because I know when they came, they started putting a whole bunch of money into that shit and then got divorced. And the dude still put money into that shit. Oh, yeah. You're talking about Frank, Frank McCourt. Yeah, the McCourt, yeah. Look at my back up about it. Hold on. Yeah, that motherfucker came and just flooded the Dodgers with a bunch of dope. Got us a goddamn pin around this bitch. Good job, Frank. Love you to death. We needed that. But, uh, yeah, yeah man. He, Crazy history he, behind he that. He got his thing. interest because of the divorce shit. I think his wife ended up with $400 million or some shit like that. So you, that nigga no longer own none of the Dodgers, is what you said? Nah, uh, Magic and a whole group of investors own the Dodgers. Yeah, but wasn't he in part of that investment group, though? Nah, we, they no. bought it from oh. him. To satisfy, the, to, they to need satisfy the divorce judgment. Now, do he got some money still up in there some kind of way? We don't know, man. You know how them white folks, rich white folks like that work. Right. I'm sure he does, though. No one just let nothing go. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's an asset like that. But they need to go ahead and push motherfucker off the NFL team and quit playing. <laughs> so we can all rally behind it. Put all the niggas on one team and get all the Super Bowls for like 63 years till they change the rules. <laughs> That's what they ain't going to let happen. I know. But if they did, that would be well, dope. You know, you know Dan Dash is talking about starting his own league. Well, he says he, well, he got the league. And but got see, eight teams, yeah. six teams, or some shit like that. Right? Here's the thing, though. Niggas. People. It's entertainment, man. It's not a hard thing to do. Can we rally behind this brother, man? Can we Can we, Can we? we get behind this man, man, to support this man league, bro? Can we buy jack uh, jerseys and rock the jackets? Like, can we help this nigga with our own shit? And if he end up on some bullshit, can we burn that shit down? Like this? No, but, yeah, man. If he do start that shit, we need to rally behind this man, man. We need, we need to quit playing. We need to quit playing. It's with funny because Shannon Sharp was trying to give him every motherfucking reason why uh, can't no, can't no, that you can't start a league that can compete with the NFL. We hold the power, nigga. If we go, they'll follow. Yeah, period. Period. So again, yeah, we support this man, man. Interview. Yeah, the cold interview on uh, Club Shay Shay. This nigga drank like six, seven fucking screwdrivers or whatever the fuck he was drinking. And Shannon Sharp couldn't even get through the first one. This nigga was knocking him back, talking shit, telling him, nigga, I'm a rock star. Nigga, you can't drink like me. Nigga, you a whole athlete and you still can't fuck with me. <laughs> oh, man, he was on one. But the shit he was breaking down. I got to watch that. Yeah. You know, Dame is a dickhead. You know what I'm saying? He's going to make every fucking yeah. interview hard as fuck, right? He takes all kinds, right? He's going to make every interview hard as fuck. 
So, you know, that is what it is and shit, right? But once you get past the the niggas, you know, just trying to be hard, trying to be an asshole, you kind of see what this nigga's been doing. Dame ain't never stopped making moves, right? Like, we've been concentrating on this wild, kind of like Kanye. Concentrate right. on wild shit that he says or the way that the shit is portrayed in the fucking national media. And we developed this idea that this nigga's a hothead or a clown or, you know, this motherfucker's just fucking up the business or whatever. And then you look back around 10 years later and this nigga's doing the shit that he was talking about back then, really making it happen. Like, you know, he got a cold little partnership with Fox Soul, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read about that. On some, uh, I was watching some, uh, R, uh, relative general something, RG, RRG, some shit. Anyway, and they pretty much follow up on people and they, they, they careers and what they're doing after such and such or whatever. And on his shit, they ran the whole little shit down from him to Jay Z, well, from way before that, how he basically lost interest in the music aspect after Leah died. Like, he was like, man, he wasn't tripping off the music. Then he was like, man, and, and motherfuckers kind of take advantage of that. Like, it, it was crazy. It was crazy. So he got right to be an asshole because like, he was done kind of, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Business shit. But yeah, they ran through that whole little shit, like, all the way up to now. How that motherfucker was doing all types of shit. Man, that's doing all types of shit. Just on some, on some low-key shit. On some, I don't got to brag about it. I'll still be an asshole and, and, and talk my shit in these interviews. But nigga, I ain't, no, I ain't no scrub out here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no, I ain't no scrub out here. I'm still doing my shit. Jay Z didn't make me. You know what I'm saying? Right. I do my own shit. You know what I'm saying? This nigga choke. This nigga said something real interesting the other day. This nigga said, Jay Z said, "Oh, you you made hove, we'll make another hove, right? In the one song and shit, right? And the right. nigga choke said, well, he actually did." Right, niggas, and his name's fucking Kanye West, right? And then he just <laughs> broke down the whole relationship between Dame and Kanye, and then Kanye and Jay, right? Like right. we always kind of want to give Jay Z the props for Kanye, but Jay Z never supported Kanye ever, right? right? All the way right. up till, you know, when they was doing, uh, I wanted to say it was the fucking, it was either the Blackout album or the Blueprint, one of the fucking albums, and uh. They really just had a fucking like competition for you know who's having the hardest beats, right? Between No ID, fucking uh, Kanye, some fucking body else. I can't think of whoever whoever else it was. But Kanye just you know all his shit was you know what I'm saying the shit. Yeah. And then he wanted to do. The college dropout, Jay was laughing at him, talking about nigga, you don't rap, nigga, keep producing, like nigga, that's your. That's thing. what I was about to say. They didn't respect that nigga's lyricism, but they always fuck with that nigga on the beats, and they wanted him to stay on the beats because they figured that it would fall off if he started concentrating and focusing on rapping and shit. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, and not only that though, I believe Jay was a little, little, little intimidated once he started spitting this shit, and the way he put his words together and shit. I think Jay was like, uh. Nah, that nigga can't. Nah, <laughs> stay on the beats, my nigga. Stay on the beats. Yeah, that's what Dame said. Dame said that he he said, man, I signed him to a, a record deal because I want the nigga to keep producing fucking beats. Like, nigga, you want to rap? Okay, go ahead, do your rap thing. Nigga, just keep producing beats. Nigga came back with a banger. <laughs> Fire ass. Fire first three albums. Fucking with me. Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and up until that, we brought back that banger, nigga, that Jay-Z respect his lyricism. Like, all right, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And, and then Kanye did the only one track with Hov on purpose. So he could do his own song. Like, yeah, I do my fuck track with Hov because he Hov. But he was like, basically, he didn't even want to put that feature on there like that. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to shine his whole little shit. He wanted to do his whole little shit by himself. That's why Daryl isn't another one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, oh, for graduation, there's no Hov. Feature on there, you know what I'm saying? Fucking uh, uh, I don't, I don't remember about the graduation so much, but yeah, that was, I was only that one though because you know, it was it was it was it was it was squad business type of shit. But yeah, man, and the yay fucked some shit up when he came up with with that. Uh, and, then, and then you see these niggas couldn't. Uh, Let me drop out. 
They said the whole fucking Watch the Throne tour was just rife with a whole bunch of fucking bumping heads and some more shit. Yeah, yeah. Although that album was fire, well, at least the first part of it. They kind of lose me after uh, Otis. But, yeah. If niggas' like egos wasn't in the way, if motherfuckers wasn't flipping out, I think Kanye and fuck, I think the whole Rockefeller, though, if, if all things considered perfect, would have been titans in this industry right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, as many moves as they and, and, and Dame are making the part, I believe they stayed together. They could have been like a righteous ass fucking bigger than death row because they had all the talent in house that attracts motherfuckers from out house. You know what I'm saying? Like, bulky like cash money. You know what I'm saying? Like, still relevant, still doing their shit, still weighing in them, but they got the type of talent that attract talent. And I believe that's what fucking Rockefeller would have been if they'd have stayed you know, intact, you know what I mean? Because, man, damn. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, that they, they'd have been dope. But, I mean, you know, all things ain't never perfect, so here we have it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kanye tripping out over Kardashian pussy, bro. God damn, man. Man, they really need to put a label on them, bro, like a, a real caution symbol. <laughs> they got to walk around with a caution stamp, every Kardashian woman, because man, <laughs> oh man, oh man, that is, that's ridiculous. I don't, you know, I'm never one for, well, I'm always enjoying of a good conspiracy theory, but when it's right in your face though, nigga, not one, nigga, just one, nigga, okay, not one. One of my folks come out saying, any one of them, just give me one, just one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's some cold, that's a cold triangle, without me, or what would they be? A gaggle? No, nah, gaggle would be. <laughs> cool, I guess. <laughs> it's a gaggle. A gaggle. Right. <laughs> that's a cold gaggle of women, boy, I'll tell you what. I don't know if you can gaggle a woman and apologize to all women or anybody who take offense, because I'm, you know, just throwing words out there. Don't be hey, like that. But, I don't uh, make the term. Man, that's, that's, that's... <laughs> I, I I'd, rather be, do it I'd rather be a gaggle than a litter. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or a flock. Well, I guess. They can I don't it. know. That's a flock. Nah, that's, a flock. That's key. Not a gaggle. I don't know what a gaggle is. <laughs> they can flock on fleek, though. We got to bring fleek back, but you know what I'm saying? They can flock on fleek. <laughs> But yeah, bro, I wonder, I wonder, I don't wonder how that is, because I can imagine losing my mind over, you know, woman, but not one man has survived, though. Who will be such the man, too, though? Who would be the man to break the curse of the Kardashian snatch? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Ouch. I wonder who. OJ? Nah, the nigga ended up killing the white woman. Allegedly. Well, he didn't because he was acquitted, so maybe OJ. That's, what That's I'm a wondering. question mark for me. That's a question mark for me. You know what I'm saying? That's a question mark for me. OJ Polly. Uh, the, the original Kardashian motherfucker, he uh... He started it off, though. He started it off and got out the way. Because when right. they divorced a couple times, OJ shit came about. Yeah, so he started off and got out the way. And he was like, oh, yeah, I know these, they trip. You know what I'm He's back right on that. <laughs> Strove his ass on out of that shit. You know what I'm saying? That nigga started thinking about shit that uh, he was going through with Chris. He was like, yeah, he probably killed the bitch. Let me go ahead on and get rid of this case. <laughs> <laughs> Run me that bag, homie. <laughs> Let, Let, Let me go ahead and pay attention to get away from this bitch right away before I end up nigga needing some uh, fucking uh, help, some, some, some representation, man. <laughs> because, bro, I'm still trying to think of one. I want to say uh, the one Courtney was dealing with. We ain't heard nothing about my man. What was his name? Steve Scott Scott. I ain't heard nothing about my man since. Oh, uh, you talking about uh, the, what what they call his ass? Uh, Lord Disick Scott Disick. Some shit. Yeah, him. I, I mean, Disick. he about the only one I think made out a little bit. But I don't hear nothing about the nigga. I don't hear nothing about him. Cause she on some other shit. I don't really follow him like that, but I know 
from what I heard. What up, Jay Bird? Seen, what up, man? What up? From what I heard and seen, my nigga, not many people make it out of there, you know, with all their scruples and that. At all. Yeah, all the way from the first husband. Remember, uh, uh, Kim's first husband got caught up in the BMF shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga told. <laughs> nigga tried to go get uh, Big Meat's jewelry and shit, end up fucking telling on Jacob the jeweler and some more shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's how that whole blood diamond shit came about. Right. Uh, nigga, yeah. Yeah, nigga. I remember. But, the, man, not one of them. Not one. Nigga. <clears throat> And, 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 and niggas still be in there. Like, man, I'm going to take my chance. I think Reggie I can do it. Had, look, Reggie had to give back a whole motherfucking Heisman. <laughs> yup. Yup. And then he faded from obscurity on the young sports announcement shit. I ain't seen this nigga call a game of analyze shit in a long time. So that must be Kardashian remnant. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, how they Shane come back? To, uh, how they come back? Nigga, you 12 years in the pros. These niggas start talking about some shit you did. Second year of fucking college. And take your shit, nigga. <laughs> like like was you went the baddest motherfucker in the country. Nigga right. ain't getting steroid. Nigga ain't snorted no cocaine. <laughs> All this nigga did was drive the car, man. Put, let his That's mama it. get a job in the house. That's it. It was some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like they should have been getting that man's shit back. But you know, colleges. Yeah. Took this whole hype. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Colleges. You know, they you know what I'm saying? They be they be raping the people, man. They just take, 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 take. Don't give nothing, because even when motherfuckers get their degrees, they fucking, they fucking, um, end up in debt. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this nigga Lamar, this nigga, uh, this nigga just was on, he was on some podcast just recently talking about he, uh, if he had a chance, he would take Chloe back. Like nigga, See? you had a whole See? psychotic episode, nigga. Like a whole break down. nigga, you damn near died in a brothel, nigga. <laughs> Some right. shit like, like what the fuck? Yeah, in the straight whole house. My nigga you overdosed on me in the whole house. What the fuck is wrong with you? I still love her, and I wish for the best. I'm turning the channel every time I see some on the news about them bitches, man. I would never. Come on, homie. Like, you ask me a question me. about me, I'd be like, mm mm. mm, -mm. Next question. Stomach start hurting, <laughs> nigga get a migraine. <laughs> nigga, all that. <laughs> Next question, nigga. Next question. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even finna go back to them dark days because this is some bullshit. And his new little broad is bad. And his new little broad is bad. Ray J, well, you know, a nigga made it. He even got paid from it. Yeah, Ray J got his bread up, right? Yeah, so Ray J, Ray J from Carson, man. Ray J, like, yeah. let me hit some of regular nigga shit, right? Quick. That's one nigga I can like, say made it. You like this little singing shit, man? Kind of just fell off. Uh, it's loving hip hop shit. It ain't even been created yet. Uh, but yeah, I see you kind of bubbling over there, little mama. You remember that thing we did, right? Okay, well, you know, mm -hmm. I still got the fact that, okay, you know, well, you know, if, you know, we can both just blow, like, it ain't like it's nothing. She was like, shit, let's go get the bag. Let's go get it. <laughs> hey, yep. She got so the that's bag. One nigga I can say. That's about the only thing I could say got away. You got out of that triangle. My man, uh, uh, the Kardashian dad, Ray J, two successful niggas. To break free of Kardashian Cooch E. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas is my oh, hero. Low key. Uh, the, 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 the Humphrey niggas, the Chris Humphrey niggas. Wait, where did this nigga play basketball at? Probably in Yugoslavia or some motherfucking where? Right. He probably right. over there with Brittany Grinder trying to get back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Just don't nobody care about that nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Chris, who? Oh, he all right. That ain't cool. You know, he all right. <laughs> that nigga disappeared and disappeared, literally. Man, you tell you, that nigga probably over there playing in China and shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? Kardashian coochie, man. That's the craziest shit. 
I'm gonna tell, like, you, tell you the one nigga that's been able to weather the storm like, like Statman though is uh the Corey Blunt dude, the the the, the ex basketball player dude that uh fuck with the mama now. I, I don't know about him. That, exactly. that, that's new game. Oh uh, yeah, yeah that's new be, game. He be in the mix, but he be low key in the background. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he ain't with the fuck shit. You know what, my nigga? Navigate. You know what I'm saying? Navigate. You too may be able to go into, into the class of my heroism when it comes to the Kardashian coochie. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's only two. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's only two. It's only two. You know what I mean? All right, bro. I need to go on and start heading back uh, into the office. Yes, sir. I'm about so to go see go the kids on. anyway. And close this one out. Thank you guys oh. in the uh, comment section for joining us for the first uh, totally live remote Piranha Pond streamcast live at five. Yes, on the yes, day. Uh, join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're gonna be trying to make it happen for y'all. You know, and, uh, try to get past all this fuck shit. In the yeah, meantime. We do. We go pop in anytime we can pop in, goddamn it. I'm we pop in any time. Look for us on yeah. Facebook, look for us on Instagram, especially hey. me and my guy right here. We might pop up we on y'all ass at any pop. time. With some hot shit jumping off and get your news first here. Remember who brought it to you first. The Piranha uh, Pong. So y'all know what it is, what it has been, what it always will be. We have been the Piranha Pine streamcast live at 5 slash 7 central and now we are